Hey guys, it's Matt. I thought about this video the other day, and lo and behold, it's still out there. Now, this says three years ago. No, I mean, we we saw this, oh gosh, I mean, it seems like 10 years ago. And I thought, well, with all the censorship, I mean, is this still allowed to be out there? But it's framing the, quote, conspiracy the way the Not Milk wants people to interpret it. And, you know, it didn't surprise me that it's still here. It seems like a little bit of the 7-Eleven job application stuff has been taken out or removed. Maybe there was an issue with the loading there. But um, this is a good exercise for us to go through, guys, and not, not to jump back in the old conspiracy and the first grade stuff we did. This is a great exercise to be able to see through the entire trick that's taking place in this reality. So the first grade, first of all, the, the title is... Uh, basically correct at the first level. Everything here is part of the ch minions trick, the not nil trick, etc. Those that execute the trick on the ground are mostly aren't even aware they're engaged in a trick. It's so multi-layered, and at this point we see through all of it. Now from a first grade through a fifth grade or even a ninth grade truth or perspective, there's nobody that would watch this and even if they disagree on how Dealey Plaza went down and how Herbert Walker Bush or Prescott Bush was involved with, with in, in this case with uh, the, the Nazi war machine, even if they have disagreements at certain levels, they would say, look, Matt, there's only one way to interpret this. Overall, uh, it's extremely useful for us. It's extremely helpful to present our side. And that's where that's where the trick comes in. Actually, it's not. For us, for those that have a chance to see through this reality, this sort of thing further propagates the trick itself. Let me rephrase that if any part of that was unclear as I drag across the video. I, I don't think I can play any of it. Well, Matt, it's already on YouTube. I've been through this before. I'm not even going to try. It's even shrunken down to small size. But the, you, the number, the amount of conspiracy topics presented here it's just this connections, this bloodline, this person did this. It's first, just in what's presented here, it's only 1% of what you would say the total conspiracy we've been uh, subject to or, or fed in the last 15 years. Um, even if it was just this, one could say there's no possible way a real world could pull all this off or coordinate this much conspiracy and continually get away with it. Just this gives away reality. But again, back to what I was saying in terms of the rephrase. So is that um, Schmedley Butler? Oh, he's the good person that stopped the Prescott Bush coup. Oh, aren't we lucky? I mean, come on. These stories, at the first level, it seems like such truth. And it is at that level. It really is because it's far closer to what's happening in this reality than what your family sits down and watches CNN at night and Aaron Burnett out front. Well, I'll tell you right now, she's out back right here. She's out. She's she's out back begging to get in the house. It, it's it's far closer to the truth than, you know, your best friend sitting down and watching the BBC. Of course, that is the lowest level of the trick. If you're literally somebody sitting down watching the news for 15 years and believing they're good people working for you. I mean, in terms of seeing through the trick, there is no hope for someone like that. I would think, you know, whatever whatever type of spiritual being they, they are or may be or may not be, uh, hopefully they are, but the other aspect of them is saying, you were a dumb ass and you, you didn't do squat in terms of what you were supposed to do for yourself in this life and you know, do it again. I don't, they're just, they're just getting nowhere and no consequences, people. There could be consequences for being a complete dumbass. Though Tony reminded me, the higher self can learn from all sorts of different incarnations, Matt. They don't all have to see through the trick like you say you can, and your people, they, the higher self, he would say, can learn from dumbasses too, and people that deal blackjack at the MGM Grand along the Strip in Las Vegas. Okay, I, I, does, I don't, that doesn't make me feel too good, but again, as I just scrolling through this video, it's like three hours long, the conspiracy, the connections, the plots, the planning, the dastardly deeds. It's just, 
It's not possible in a real world. Nothing could be pulled off to this degree. Oh, that's right. We caught that. It was an image of that's George W. H. W. Bush. We he was. Oh, we caught that image of him. He had flown somewhere in Texas while Dealey Plaza was going down, and dummies like me researched that for four months. And we thought, I mean, I was a. We were all dummies. I was a dummy ten years ago, and I thought, oh, we're getting somewhere now. I'm gonna be able to take all this in for. Oh, the the is that the Texas theater where Lee Harvey? I mean, I could just do this all. Just we just scroll across things and talk about it. Lee Harvey in his moment of panic uh he went in <laughs> to hide at the texas theater but forgot of course to buy a ticket oh that's how it tipped him off cup it's a whole it's in joke it's an app but see your friends and family there's if they start to get into quote conspiracy there's so many dark things that start popping up and so many dark things that start to explain to the first grade truther how the world works or doesn't work per what you know they, they they're starting to question the news they're starting to question authority and then all this conspiracy stuff swoops in to provide the answers oh this is how it works it's just another layer of graduated animal farm just the here the lee harvey oswald story you know the the they have they have pictures. How they have pictures of him when he's younger, and I know okay in the military, fine they'd have pictures, but they have pictures of him handing out pro Cuban and Castro flyers on the streets. Oh, the Harley Harley guy, and in terms of what did everybody know? Oh, there's the guy. That's right. That was the the the, the uh, I can't even say it. What happened to the, in London there with the um. A certain body part was removed, or is and the, the guy. I mean, the guy's screaming about it in front of the camera. I mean, come on, come on, sir. You, Matt, you don't buy any of this, do you? No. And I, I do buy the title, but the, the people that put this video together, assuming they're trying to help, and it's not, you know, they're not working for not milk. I don't know the people that put this video together. A lot of truthers at first to fifth or sixth grade try. They think this is the highest level of understanding how this reality works. Endless uh, Rockensteiner child, uh, Rockensteiners, and you know, all the the families and the Kazarian mob and all that. I've, I've, people have been commenting about. Did they comment that with the with when I talk about the the was it the um, the caucuses yesterday? If you're let me let me let's just go back and let's back up for a second and do some first grade truth because there's people here at different levels. If you're attempting to point at a bad guy in this reality, oh, it's this bloodline, it's this secret society. You're falling for the trick at first, second, or third grade level, and you have a lot of work to do. Let me repeat that. If you're trying to point at a bad guy, once, oh, it's the Jays, man. How come you don't talk about the Jays? Then you're completely fooled, and you have a lot of work to do. But back to this video, everything is a rich man's trick. There's two sides to it. At one point, somebody could be screaming at me saying, Matt, what are you talking about? Like, this even flashes up images of Robbie Ribby, Robbie Ribby, Ribby Robbie Bob, images of, of Captain Hook, and that it, it flashes all the stuff that we were interested in. And how can you say it's not helpful? It is and it isn't. Okay, it is and it isn't. Yes, it was necessary to go through all of this conspiracy, but only if you can come out the other side. Only if you can someday walk away from it and back up far enough and get in your hot air balloon and look down over the entire reality and see the entire nature of the trick. Most people that get involved in this, I would say 95%. Um, at first glance, yes, they're doing to a degree much better than your family that just sits down and watches CNN. But are they? Because they're simply stuck at another layer that is very far, far, maybe a bit closer to the truth, but it's still extremely far from the truth. And the truth is only exiting everything and doing part two, the work, why you are here, why you incarnated, what you have to do for yourself here. Wait about yourself, the spiritual whole, what does it need from you participating and engaging in this reality? researching bloodlines and what the whole ritual of the Princess Diana, Princess Di, what that was all about, has nothing to do with what you're supposed to do for yourself here. So in a way, it's okay, I'll, I'll, it's, it's better than watching the BBC. But 
if almost everybody that gets this level gets trapped here, it doesn't make any difference. I, I, there are no Billy Madison podium points awarded going through the moment of death. If you saw through the trick and you, you know that the Nazi war machine prior to World War II was funded by American business interests, and you know all of that, it, I award you no points. This audience is worse off for having listened to your answer, Mr. Madison, and God have mercy on your soul. That was the, that was per the Billy Madison de debate uh, for Madison Hotels. I award you no, what you just said, Mr. Madison, was the most incoherent, moronic thing I've ever heard. I award you no points. That's what, if you try to tell your higher self that or whatever, your God, or whoever's going to be waiting for you at the moment of death. Oh, I saw through the trick. Look at all the conspiracy research I did at the moment of death. I award you no points, and actually, I'm going to send you back down. You're going to do it again. This time, you're living in the slums of Delhi, just outside the airport, in a mud hut. It, it, you have to be able to get through these levels. And then the wise man says, well, Matt, this is, but we have to go through this. This is it. Matt, what makes, we, at one point when you were doing this 10 years ago, you thought you were figuring it out, as we all thought we were figuring it out. What makes you think now you figured out exactly, I have to keep that on the table. I have to keep on the table that this is simply another level. And I have to keep putting that on the table until I no longer can and say there, there is no merit that, this isn't, that there's more than this. I think we're getting very close. But no, no, we can even up to the day of our death, we cannot arrogantly say, well, I figured it out. To, to, to proclaim that I completely figured it out is falling for the trick. Yes, I, prevent, I present my half-page reality. This is my best understanding via the quote half page of how this reality works. I never said it was perfect. I continuously say we'll have to keep working on it. Or once every six months, we'll revise it a little bit based on people that know certain things about reality in certain areas more, way more than I do. Well, but it's, it's getting close, in my opinion. We know now definitively that all this conspiracy stuff, I mean, j again, just as we go through the, I'm just, you know, scrolling through very quickly dragging the video, just the number of connections and things that have to be pulled off and just what's presented in this one video, three hours, it's like the, you know, the zeitgeist film and all that. It, there's no possible way any real world could do this. And that, that to me, you know, that's 100%. That is step one in seeing through the trick and leaving it all behind and doing what, worry about yourself, doing what you have to do for yourself is going, there, there, there's individual conspiracies, just individual parts of the 7-Eleven job application. One little part where you'd, you'd say there's no way a real world could have pulled this off. And that's one of tens of thousands of things that hover around the definition of reality breakdown. Well, the, the, um, on the 7-Eleven job application day that was submitted to the 7-Eleven in Lower Manhattan for the job of coffee pour, on the big day in 2001, there were things that came in from the air. Somebody that submitted a 7-Eleven job application came in for that job interview on American Airlines. And, and the other one that was trying to get the same job came in on United Airlines. And, you know, the bzzz, how all that, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a no PP person, as you know. Now, how all that was coordinated via all the television stations, and that is a complete reality breakdown. The first grade truth are, oh, that can be explained, Matt. You don't understand the people that work in these news agencies. They know more than you think, Matt. Uh, no, they don't. Even at the highest levels, they, to my opinion, they're falling for the trick. As time goes on, I give less, say, stock to what a president's understanding would be. Uh, for, say, Barack here, or you could use Barry, or you could use Barry Marshall Davis, or Barry or Barack Dunham, whatever name you like. I mean, how many people do you know have four different names and are citizens, <laughs> citizens of overseas country? <laughs> anyway, um, Prime Minister or Assistant Ski Instructor of Canada, as the years go by, you know, I never thought they knew a whole lot, but it goes down. In other words, the president at the level of Barack Obama in my opinion, had no understanding, has no understanding of how reality works or even what their own role is in the trick. And that's an each month or year that goes by, I see them as less and less in the loop. And that goes for everybody. That's a minion class that executes the trick. 
I have to throw out there that there's got to be some creepy table somewhere where they know what's going on. But if it's if it's a face you know or a name you know or a face that appears on TV, I am convinced at this point, unlike what we thought as first grade truthers 10, 12 years ago, that they're all in on it and all oh, it's all planned and plotted, they don't understand even their own role. I am convinced of this at this time. Again, I because I, I can't go the whole way and say none of them know nothing. That I just there's no basis for that. And it sounds ignorant, considering all the craziness we've seen. So I got to throw out, there's some creepy table somewhere that knows something, or (laughs) a lot more than we do. But at this level, or at the level of, say, a Canadian assistant ski instructor, or they know nothing, honey. I mean, they know nothing. They could, Barack Obama knows basically how to find the bathroom in the White House West Wing, and that's about it. But I would admit they don't all have the same understanding. I mean, take George H. W. Bush, who came through as the CIA director. Uh, He knows something, of course. He knows a lot versus, say, Barack Soturo here, who in this cartoon depiction, don't need to see it if you're driving. He's staring at a sign which depicts the war on terror, but it's an infinity loop and it's our mall map. You are here. And he's quite confused. So there's going to be a difference. I would say it's possible. I don't know if it's probable, but it's it's probable in terms of the 7-Eleven job application, Big Day, the submission in 2001, it's probable that somebody like Barack Satoro knows almost nothing about what really happened. And he might actually believe it was, you know, the gigantic Saudi Arabian man in the cave. He, he might actually, somebody at this level... Well, of course, George H. W. Bush came through the CIA. He's not gonna. He's gonna know it wasn't the man in the cave. Barack, uh, you know, Trump is too connected. Of course, he's too. His he he goes. His uncle was involved in the uh, that Tesla, uh, getting the Tesla confidential information after Tesla's. I mean, he's connected in a weird way. Um, But uh, Bill Clinton, for example, he's probably just a buffoon like Barack that doesn't know anything. But he was given the Rhodes Scholarship. I mean, you can have good people with good grades, and the Rhodes Scholarship will never come calling. That's almost like a grooming to be a minion, with maybe his handler being some sort of strange entity that poses Hillary Clinton. I mean, it seems like uh, Bill, I mean, just inner knowing, it might be as clueless as Barack. It doesn't matter. It's just fun to ponder this sometimes. In my opinion, 99% plus of what we call, or who we call the minions, are completely convinced in legitimacy of their role, where they don't understand they're facilitating the general reality trick. 99% plus. The first grade truther, it's just almost the opposite. Everybody's in the know. Everybody's in on it. Secret meetings in no frigging way. It's this reality does not operate like the Truman Show. In a way, it does, but not with, oh, get in place. Here comes Truman around the corner. The person is interacting with Truman, fulfilling their role for the TV show, but they don't even know the person about to greet Truman walking around the corner has no idea they're in a TV show, if you see what I'm saying. They don't know that they're playing this role, and there's this um, Ed Harris up there as Kristoff. I mean, so it's like the Truman Show, but not, not at all literally like the Truman Show, because they all knew they were actors. Oh, here comes Truman, and I understand him in a TV show. They're in a TV show in this reality, all these minions, but they don't know it. And I am convinced of that. And I don't think I'll ever move off that, because every month that goes by, I say, this is it. This whole reality, getting back to the original purpose, I came across this video again, everything is a rich man's trick. Well, everything in this reality is a trick. It's one sentence to move the real spiritual being off its true path and to hinder it from accomplishing what it's supposed to accomplish in life. It's one, the entire trick boils down to one simple sentence. There are many scenes in this movie, Kingdom of Heaven, we've talked about as being truth drops are very, very interesting over the years. I don't think we've ever talked about this one. I don't remember the exact quote, and I'm not going to look it up, but he says something like, um, you know, when you when you stand before your God, um, it will not do to say that uh, virtue was not convenient at the time, or doing the right thing was it just wasn't the right time to step forth and do the right thing. That will not do, and that is um, 
you know, very, very good advice. Um, when you stand before your God uh, at the moment of your death or your higher self or whatever it may be, um, you know, the first grade truther and what this, this endless conspiracy loop that this reality puts us in, you'd say, whoa, whoa I, I did good, huh? H higher self or I, I did good. I saw through the trick. That school event, I could, I could see right through it. That mall event, and I hear the king here saying, you know, that, that, that won't do. That's not good enough. That's simply another layer of the trick. It's really not much different, in my opinion, than being excited to watch the red carpet presentation with Ryan Seacrest or being si excited that the Oscars are coming on. You just, if, if, if the, as far as you go, is seeing through the fake presentations by politicians and some of the uh, uh, cake and a lake events presented on the news and the mall events or the school events or this isn't legitimate. That's simply another layer of the trick. It is no more virtuous or just than the lowest level of the trick as long as it's still inside the trick. For this point, let me go back to this clip again and feature the Hillary Clinton entity. I'm sorry if you need to look away, but this little clip's kind of appropriate to what we're talking about. And um, remember, there are two Tonys. My best friend who believes CNN, but the, on the other end of the spectrum is the Tony that communed with the higher self, that gave me a few puzzle pieces, filled in a few major gaps as to how this reality works. And it's like he didn't really teach me anything, just like I don't teach you anything. I just remind you of what you already know. You'll say, when I say something, that res, you'll, it'll resonate. You're like, yeah, that's right, because you know. You know, Tony did that with me. I was like, yeah, that's the way he explained the, this type of entity, which he called, as many, you've heard me say it many times, a, a sequential incarnation. I went, yeah, that's, that's, it, that's it. That's That's exactly right. I just knew. But he would say, and I agree, this is not a failed life. This entity is playing the role that was designed for it. The trick in this place, whatever we call Earth, the trick is necessary. Well, the entire thing is a trick. From top to bottom, soup to nuts, A to Z. From the micro and the quantum all the way up to the macro and the, the galaxies and the, what Carl Sagan says about the universe. Everything is a trick. We were to looking at everything's a rich man's trick. Everything here is the reality trick. Again, it's fun to ponder who these entities are. Or maybe, again, it's possible they're the same spiritual entity you are, or at least one of them is, and they just fell under the dragon's wing and just completely submitted to the trick of this reality or what we call not milk. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We're here to worry about yourself. It does not matter which one of these is unlike the other, which one came from the ninth plane of hell, which one is a real spiritual being that just got too far into the dragon's wing and decided to work for the not milk and take its rewards, which, who knows? And, and they, they, these three entities, I, the, to me, the, the three stooges have more merit. But, but again, I, it's fascinating, you know, what are these things? But um, uh, when I see this image and they sat together, the Stalin, Churchill, and FDR, Roosevelt, sat together twice, I believe, and at all times, uh, Roosevelt was in the middle. And it's like, well, how, you know, they would all fight to be in the middle as the most important and you think of one who would say, or Stalin would say, well, you sat in the middle last time. I mean, I, how did, it's almost like, you know what I believe, guys? I believe it is a one world system. I think it goes back a long way where really countries are really not doing their own thing. And also the military uniforms are depicted on both sides and the civilian uh, a suit on FDR in the middle where at least the way this reality is structured is the civilian suit always seems to have more clout or is a higher level minion than those in the military uniform. So maybe that's relevant. It doesn't matter. Again, everybody here, with the exception of very few, fall for the trick. Whether you're Stalin or the guy that works down at the DMV, um, if they're both the same spiritual entity, let's just assume they are. I don't think it, well, in, the de in the moment of death, it's this evil meter. Oh, this eh, eh, oh, evil meter just when all Stalin just came through. Oh, what's the punishment for that? I think it basically, if there is any sort of 
um, gauge or some ridiculous scenario like where Anubis leads you up to have your heart weighed against a feather or whatever other bogus test. If there is any test at all, it would be, you know, the aspect of you, the, the spiritual you that's not here will be, will be part, you will be a judge on yourself, in my opinion. Will, will it, did you fall for the trick? Not an evil meter. I don't, it, it sounds horrible, but I, okay, this guy on the, on the left, Stalin, millions dead. I, I, I don't think an evil meter is as important or even it might not be relevant at all versus did you fall for, did this incarnation, whether it plays the role of a minion or whatever, did it fall for the trick? Now, if it's a sequential incarnation, its role is to play the trick. That is something different. But that's more of a metric to me, you know, where Stalin might not be that much different than the guy that works at the DMV. He fall, fell for the trick. He believed in every state system <laughs> that was ever presented to him. Now, that's seeing through the trick, part one. We all do that, or you wouldn't be here. We've all done that for a long time. Where I started to change my tune about four years ago, saying that that's not good enough. I said, oh, we, we've already won. I remember saying that in videos five, six, seven years ago. We've already won. It was absolutely wrong and incorrect. We had done the, we had seen through the trick. That's, that's the tiny little part. There's, say, 10 slices of the pie. This, the first little slice, is seeing through the trick. What, what's the next slices? What's the next part? You, you know, go ahead. Say, they, they know. You can say it. Worry about your self-activities, the self-work, doing what you need to do here, giving your, your spiritual whole what it needs from your incarnation, things that can only be done in this low place that can't be done from where you came from, the part to the work. So it, seeing through the trick, I don't think you can do the part to the work adequately maybe this is up for debate or discussion, unless you see through the trick. Can you do? It's possible, I guess. I don't know, some beautiful person, tree hugger, granola cruncher, just a giving person. They, they might believe every bit of the presidential election and things like that and still give their spiritual whole, you know, at least, but let's just say for our type of, the, the life we're living, we need our type of person I think needs to see through the trick to adequately do part two the work. That first part seeing through the trick, I'll t you know, may not be necessary for everybody, but it's this place is not one size fits all. I think there are a lot of different uh, different types here. I mean, in, in addition to the potential of NPCs or uh, souls that which do have souls, but it's somehow locally. Um, you know, incarnated or, or locally powered soul or something that doesn't have the bridge out of here or a, what Tony calls a sequential incarnation versus what he calls you, a simultaneous incarnation of higher self. But then there, there, there still could be more uh, aspects. There could be, well, you know, we have no better term. These, these terms are really lame, but we just say young soul, old soul. And it just means, you know, it's this, we're all the same and all probably came from the same place and, and eventually, you know, I don't know any other way to say it, but trillions of years from now, we'll go back to the same place. Um, but the young soul is like, okay, we're the same, but it's, it has, it just has more work to do. You know, it's just not capable of seeing through the trick, at least in this incarnation or it falls for the trick too easily. And it just has, it's not, you know, it might, it takes work, you know, and how, how long did it take us to get where we are? I don't, I don't think it just took a decade. You know, I think there's, there's, it, I think it took a long time, even if some of the other lessons were learned by what Tony calls the simultaneous incarnations, other aspects of, of itself in different material planes. And it wasn't Matt. It wasn't some freak ass loser conspiracy freak boy that cried wolf, <laughs> boy that cried wolf to his friends and family named Matt. See, Matt, another one you conspired. Nothing happened, Matt. Nothing. It, it wasn't Matt. But it was like another, but we had been trying to learn these lessons for a long time. And what I'm trying to, uh, what, I, what I'm hoping for is, I'm sure the same as what you're hoping for, if you, if you see the world uh, the way I do, that, that this, we're doing enough now, we're, we're doing enough in this lifetime for it to be enough, for it to be done. And I, I, I would say we are, you know, I mean, what more... 
do we need to do? I mean, what more? We see through every bit of the trick. I don't. Well, Matt, you yourself say maybe we're just in, on another layer of graduated animal farm. I, I have to keep that on the table, like I said, but I don't see how. I don't see how it's possible. And like I said earlier, I have to keep that on the table. But I mean, what more can we do? Are we, you know? And it's not like we just want to see it as false or news article. It's, it's, it's so obviously. Every every presentation of this not milk in this time in history is complete bogus, ridiculous cake in a lake. We see through everything. The whole reality is bl- melting down all around us. Nothing makes sense. Mandela effects. Pop. I'm watching movies. They just change <laughs> before my eyes. And I mean, Matt, maybe you should check yourself into an insane asylum. Maybe, but I don't think we're, I'm quite there yet either. So what more can we do as long as we're doing the self-work? People still they get confused. But what is that part two? Well, my part two is not going to be the same as yours. It's pretty simple. What do you need to do here? What do you need to overcome? I mean, what what are your fears? What you know your fears? There's a right now. What are you worried about? What do you just three things you're worried about? Oh my 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 wife's ex and or is going to be this and that is going to come by again or the, the in laws or what? I mean, just little petty things. They can be little petty. What are you worried about right now? That uh, you just pl- planted all this garden stuff in the backyard and tomatoes and there's oh they're, it's gonna all die and the the bugs are gonna come back. I'm just it can be petty, but that you have all of it. Is, all this little stuff has to be overcome. That's not the only aspect of the work. That's part of it, but we ha- we're here for a reason, and the not milk is here for a reason. Also, the trick is here for a reason. The Hillary Clintons of the world are here for a reason to prevent you from doing it. So you should, at this point, I used to say, remember, what is it trying to prevent us from doing? You can learn about yourself by looking at what it's trying to do to you. What is the nature of its trick? What is this thing you seek to understand, Clarice? You know, what, what is its tactics and strategies in terms of distraction? But we're, that's first, we're, we should be way beyond that. We shouldn't need the not milk to tell us about ourselves at this point. You know, the first step is, you don't, what are your worries and fears right now? Write them down. Well, there you go. That's, there's your work. They overcome them. Get it done. It's that simple. Guys, let's end on a fun note. Remember I said we shouldn't, at this point, be looking to the not milk. Oh, I'm not sure how to behave or what to do in life. I want to see what the not milk wants to block me from. Oh, then I'll know to do the opposite. Oh, that's great starting out. But, you know, but maybe I should take that back a bit. You know, there are little cues to tell you whether you're doing the right thing in life or not. For example, are you one of the five people that bought this item, per it says the top right? This item is in demand. Okay, this is called the Rock Fidget Slug. It says the top right, in demand item. (laughs) Five people bought this in the last 24 hours, $8.00. The Rock or the Dwayne Johnson Fidget Slug. Now, this is a, a gauge as to how you're doing in life. If if you're listening to words coming out of my mouth and you're one of these five people that bought this, you you have some work to do. You have a you have a lot you ne- you need to do for your high. Let me tell you one thing that's clear: your higher self don't need that fucking thing. Your higher selves don't need a Rock Fidget Slug. Now, most exercises in this life are a little bit more complicated and complex than this one. But this is a good place to start if there's a first grade truther here. For the first grade truther that just wandered in here, I mean, you might not really understand what I mean by even part one and part two, seeing through the trick, part two, the work. And you might feel very good about yourself that you haven't bought a rock slug, but you still are confused by what I mean by part two. So we'll close with this. Simply look out at the largest not milk puppets the biggest puppets that this system has ever put forth, like Colin Kaepernick here, and then compare what you're doing in life to, to what it's doing. I'm not calling it a, a name or a pro. It's an it, okay? It, 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 it completely sold out. It's, it pro- I was going to say it sold its soul, but it probably didn't have anything like that. It sold out completely for a little bit of fame, a little bit of scraps from Longshank's table, a little bit of money. 15 minutes of fame. And as a, it's, they said to it, as a white man, you grow out your, we'll fake your afro, you grow out your afro. You will, it's, a, it's always the persons, the people in this screwed up reality trying to present themselves as the most 
black many times are white people <laughs> like this. It doesn't make no sense. It's always meant to be confused. It's always the Baphomet. It's always, this is the way this sick not milk does business. So again, I, I'm not talking to the old guard. You know, you don't need this little exercise, old guard. You don't need to compare yourself to Colin Kaepernick. I know you better than that, but there's some people that might wander in here. See this, this thing here, it sold itself out for rewards, petty rewards, a little bit of fame, getting jacked off in a broom closet. Or it gave up whatever little semblance of, of dignity it might have had left, whatever entity it may be. But there at the bottom, it says everything. Nike exemplifies just, just do it, do it. Ethos with Colin Kaepernick campaign. Ethos, one's integrity. <laughs> one's moral fiber is represented through the definition of ethos. With you, Colin, it's ethos. Colin, thou art a villain. Thanks for watching.